Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you will learn on how to use ManyChat for Facebook Messenger automation. So first is you have to open any web browser and then type out ManyChat.com. And of course, you have to sign up or sign in for an account. So you'd be able to use the ManyChat automation. So open any web browser and then using the search bar, just type out ManyChat.com. And once you're done creating your account, you'd be able to see this section. Now, since we're using the ManyChat for Facebook Messenger, so you just have to select the Facebook Messenger option. Then right here, you have to connect it to your Facebook page. So currently, I have this page for this sample. So you just have to simply click on the connect button. Okay, so we found one Facebook, one page managed by you. So you just have to connect it. So of course, you can unlock all of the pro features and then engage across all channels, get more leads. So you just have to subscribe to their pro plan. Okay. So for this video, I'm going to start with a free plan. So you just have to simply click on this button right here. And then you just have to select your primary purpose. So for this one, I am going to client needs. And then here, you just have to select all of the needs for your automation. Okay, so I'll just pick randomly right here and then click on next. Then right here as well, and then click on next. So you'll be redirected to your dashboard after that. So right here, you can try their campaign solutions for multiple users. So you have the capture customers data with lead magnet, use a quiz to quality leads, and you can also create an ambassador program. Okay, so right here at the left side of your screen, you just have to click on the automation option. Okay, this one below the contacts. So we just clicked on it. Okay, so remember this icon right here. And then you'd be redirected to this automation section. So to start, you just have to click on the add new automation at the top right. And then right here, you can choose different templates that you can actually use for your automation. But you can also start from scratch if you want to. So basically for this tutorial, I am going to start from scratch. So before that, let's go first to the basic automation. So right here, you'd be able to see different information. So you can collect and engage your customers with broadcast and also conversion starter. So how customers start conversions with your business. And then you also have the welcome message, create your new contacts with a new message. And then right here, you can also send instant replies to incoming direct messages. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to choose this welcome message. So we just have to simply click on the setup button. And then you'd be redirected to the section where you can now start to create your flow. So first for your first trigger, okay? So you just have to click on right here, the plus new trigger option. And then you just have to select your trigger, okay? So for this video, I'm going to use the user sends a message. So you've got different options right here. Or you can also search in Messenger at the top right. You can do that as well. And then after selecting it, you just have to click on the detect a specific words in a message. So you just had to type out all of the trigger keywords. For example, hello, even just that, hi, how much or anything okay so you just have to click on save so when someone sends you a message and use some of those keywords they will receive this message right here so you will then just have to create your second message okay just have to click on add text for example just have to type out right here hello there thank you for messaging us would you like to continue and get the full details for the products you just have to add right here a button or an option so you just have to add a button then you can choose open website or you can go with a new message you just have to select one of this so for this example i'm going to go with a messenger and then just have to name this button so we just name this button so for example, I am going to name this one as yes. So you'll then just have to click on done. Now for our second option, we just have to add a button again. You will then just have to select what kind of action when this second button is pressed, okay? Then just have to name this one as no, for example, and then you will then just have to click on done. And of course you have to add an action if this button 
is press for example you want to add a new action so you can do that you can add tag move tag or set user field then here when someone clicked on the yes you will be redirected to your new message again okay so you just have to add a button for this one and then select your button and then you just have to rename your button title for example clicked here then just have to click on done and then the next step for this one when someone clicked on clicked here you just have to simply type out your last message or you want to have a follow-up details for your conversation for example thank you very much then you just have to click on done okay so this is the algorithm for our automation for facebook messenger so you have the first message so when that message or some of the keywords will be triggered so they'll receive this message or they will be asked if they want to proceed or not so you have yes or no option right here and then if no you have the actions and for yes they will receive a message which contains a link for your website and then after that just click on set live and of course don't forget to add the url for your link okay so just have to type it out right here copy your url then paste it right here and then click on done so you'd be able to set this to live okay so let me show you again the algorithm of our messenger facebook messenger automation okay so this is how it looks then after that you will then just have to set this to live okay so just click on this one and add a tap right so now let me just show you and get my phone so right here i'm going to message this page okay so for example i just send a dot or a period and then you'd be able to receive this message okay now if you want to proceed you just have to click on yes or no just click on yes and you will receive that message that we have created with the link now when you click on that button which is the click here you'd be redirected to that website okay now if you would not want to proceed then just have to type out the keywords again and then you'd be able to see these options now you just have to click on no and then the message will stop there so if you want to add more response after someone clicking on no so you can do that you just have to follow the algorithm for our automation okay so as you can see we have successfully created our facebook messenger automation using ManyChat. so basically this is very helpful for someone who manage a facebook page which has a lot of followers so you don't have to reply to them one by one you just have to use the ManyChat. so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye